Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Varma and today we are learning bias and variance. In machine learning, there are two types of errors. The first is reducible errors and second one is irreducible errors. When we design the machine learning model, so these two errors may encounter. The irreducible errors are those errors which we cannot reduce. But reducible errors are those errors which can be reduced. Just like bias and variance. So bias and variance are the reducible errors of machine learning. We can reduce these errors and set the values so that the efficiency of model can be improved. Bias and variance helps in parameter tuning. By using the correct value of bias and variance, we can tune the parameter. Bias and variance also helps in deciding better fitting model. So by adjusting the values of bias and variance, we can check which model is better fitted. Now we are understanding the bias. Bias is the difference between actual value and predicted value. Using the machine learning model, we predict some value. Let us suppose that this inner circle represents the predicted value. Means the machine learning model says the value should be inside this circle. This is the prediction. But in the real time experiment, the value is coming which is far from that. And this is the actual value. The difference between predicted value and the actual value is the bias. Bias is of two types. The first one is low bias. If we have actual value which is very near to the predicted value, means the difference between actual value and predicted value is very small. This is low bias. In the low bias, we take few assumptions. As the assumptions are very less, that's why the difference between actual and predicted values is small. In low bias, the machine learning model closely match the training data set. As the difference between actual and predicted values is low, that's why the model is almost matching the training data set. The second type of bias is high bias. When the actual value is far from the predicted value means the difference between actual and predicted value is very high. So this is called high bias. In high bias, we take more assumptions. Here assumption is more. That's why the difference between predicted and actual value is high. Also, in high bias, model not closely match the training data set. Here the difference between predicted and actual value is very high. That's why model is not close to the training data set. In high bias, there is high error rate. What we have predicted and what is actual. So there is huge difference. That's why so many errors will come. So it is having high error rate. Next is variance. It is spread of data from its mean position. It shows that how much data is spread. If we have some data and it is spread at different different places. So this is variance. It shows how the data is spreaded. The first type of variance is low variance. If we have data and that data is very close to each other. So this is the low variance. Here the spread is very less. The model is less sensitive to changes in training data. It means if we change the training data, the model is less sensitive. Means the output of model will not change so much. In low variance, model produce 
consistent estimates on different data. Even if we change the data, the model produces the consistent estimates because the variance is very low. They are nearby. The next type of variance is high variance. When the data points are spreaded, they are not near to each other. They are spreaded far away. So this is high variance. Here the model is very sensitive to changes in training data. If we change the training data slightly, there is huge change in the model output or the prediction because it is very sensitive. Here the model produces significant changes in estimates on different data. If we change the data, the model produces different estimates. This is because of the high variance. Now we are taking bias and variance together. Now we are taking the first diagram and here we are taking the low variance. Also we are taking the low bias. Here the low variance signify the data point should be near to each other. And the low bias signify the difference between actual value and predicted value should be small. So this is the predicted value and here we are putting the actual value with the low variance. So here we can see that this is low variance because they are near to each other. This is low bias because they are more towards the predicted value. Now we are taking the next diagram. Here we are taking the high variance and we are taking the low bias. So high variance signify the data point should be far away from each other and low bias signify they should be near the predicted value. So here this is the predicted value and the point should be with the high variance. So they are nearby the predicted value but they are spreaded. Now we are taking the next diagram. In this diagram we are taking the low variance and we are taking the high bias. Here the low variance signify the points are near to each other and the high bias signify the value is far from the predicted value. This is the predicted value from there far away. We are having the data points but these data points are together because of the low variance. So they are near to each other but far from the predicted value. In the next diagram, we are taking the high variance. That means the data points are far from each other and high bias. That means their value is far from the predicted value. So away from the predicted value, there are data points which are spreaded means far from each other. So this is high variance and high bias. So these diagrams are showing the relation between bias and variance. So that's all about bias and variance. Thank you.